of the food chain, rocking with the rat tail, king sanitation, covered at the trap mail. Hey guys, what's going on? Timpus here and in today's video I'll be teaching you guys how to make your own graphics without Photoshop. You'll be learning how to make your own overlay in PicMonkey which is a really good website and it's free. So uh, yeah, it's going to be really easy to make. Uh, more for simple graphics um, because it's not got it's got quite a lot of features but uh, it kind of limits you so you can't do as many stuff as Photoshop but it is a really good alternative if you just want to make some quick graphics for a YouTube video so without further ado make sure you hit the like button can we hit 25 likes in this video guys it would really mean a lot and yeah let's get into the video so guys um, when you come onto the screen uh, onto the website you'll be given this screen and you want to go up to the top it says edit touch up design and collage we're just going to go with design here and then you want to go over to custom and then here you can just type in the size so I'm going to put 1280 by 720 because um, that's the size of the video screen and then oh yeah, you can see canvas color and you want to change that to transparent so you can put it straight onto your videos when you're ready so we're just going to make a really simple um, overlay nothing too special so first we want to go over to geometric and then go to the rectangle um, I think mine's a bit laggy just because I've uploaded um, a video like right then so mine will be a bit laggy yours won't so um, bear with me so let's just get into it you want to make a little rectangle it's not going to go all the way across it's just going to be one of those little half overlays so um, yeah you can choose whatever color you want in this I think I'm going to go with a nice orange orangey yellow gold color so once you've done that, add another one and you just want to add a little black line down at the bottom and then change that to overlay. Boom. So yeah, the overlay is in the blend modes over here and you can change the colour on colour 2. Colour 1 is actually the stroke and you can also change down the opacity which is fade. So that's what we're going to do right here, we don't want it too... Um, we don't want it too bright, that darker orange, we want it a bit of a subtle effect going on. Like so, that looks pretty cool so far. Now once you've done that, you want to go back over to the geometric and go to the uh, rectangle again. And then you want it to go all the way along and then maybe just stop around here. Make sure you change it to white and then change it to overlay again. And then bring down the opacity to let's say 75 75 to 80 will look pretty good, I'll put it on 80 actually so that looks really good so far nice bright overlay basically in this we're just going to keep adding rectangles just to make it it's like a geometric style um, overlay, it looks really cool on like um, gaming um, gaming videos I think We'll add another one right here and change it to overlay. It's just overlays really, that's all we'll be doing in this. Um, change that a bit, a bit bright, I mean um, fade it down a bit more. Like so, that looks pretty cool so far. You can choose whatever you colour you want, you don't have to do orange and you don't actually have to use, this is just um, showing you how to use the rectangles and stuff to make a nice overlay, you don't actually have to do this in the same uh, pattern as me. So then once you've done that I'm just going to quickly add some text, so go over to the T and then go to the franchise and then add text and then right here you can put whatever you want, I'm just going to put timpers and then I'm just going to highlight it and change it to white. Boom. Looks good. And I'm just going to add some more text. Um, you can put whatever you want here. I'm just going to put be sure to subscribe. So this is really, really easy, guys. Um, you can do this very quickly, or you can take a lot longer and make a really cool one. Look at all the different effects and all that type of stuff. You can do whatever you want. I think I'm going to change the font of this. I, th I think you can change the font. I'm going to try it. 
Yeah, you can. So you just got to highlight it and then change. I like having it in full caps, so that's why I've done it there. And I'm just going to bring down the size and put it in the middle. And then what you can do right here, what you can do right here is, uh, I, th I think you can upload your own images. Um, yeah, go to overlays and then go to add your own. And then you can basically add your logo here. So let me just find mine. Esports mascots. Boom. So yeah, and then you've got your logo just chilling. Make sure you hold down control to keep it in proportion. Right here, you can actually just place it wherever you want. So I've just placed mine right there. Pretty cool. So yeah, that looks really cool. Uh, you can basically do this anything. You can even add um, an extra layer if you want, like above it. And then add your social media on there, like a little thin one, like so. That would look really cool and then add your own and then just get some, um, you know, get your own um, social media and put it above it. So that's uh, basically it guys. What I recommend doing is if you do get a logo, try and get a PNG, like, because um, that the, the square box of mine, I don't think really that works. So I wouldn't really use that. Um, for me, because I've got a Viking logo, um, I'd just get the head and put it on because it would look a lot better. But yeah guys, I hope you did enjoy watching this video. Make sure you smash the like button, comment down below what you want to see from me in the next video. Make sure subscribe, you subscribe if you're new. And yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next video.